Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a quick review on this Eufy L50 robot vacuum cleaner that Walmart has on sale for $198. It's part of their Black Friday sale, $198. Let's see how well it picks up everything. I've already set it up. I've got a different video on how to connect it to your smartphone, connect it to the Wi-Fi. It was relatively simple. So with this vacuum cleaner, it's going to vacuum my house, then it's going to back up to this docking station, and then this has like a vacuum cleaner that's going to suck everything out of there into this bag. Pretty nice. Now I can start the cleaning process by just hitting this clean button or the home button. When I'm ready to have it go home, that's the docking button. This has LiDAR navigation, so it's not going to sense like dog poop in front of it, but if something's high enough, it will avoid it. It does have the bumper technology. I've already, the first thing you do have to do is a mapping run. I've already done the mapping run and told it what rooms everything is. I really do love the Eufy app. It's very user friendly. Let's go tell it to clean a room now. Let's do a, a room and let's go clean this room and then hit start. And it's going to travel to that room and then start cleaning. Okay, so it's going around the perimeter of the room and then it's going to start cleaning the interior of the room. I've got some fake dog poop that's kind of low to the ground. I've got a basket that's high. This dog poop's a little bit taller. Let's see if it misses them or runs over that dog poop. Okay, here it comes up. Oh, it ran over that dog poop. So that one was not tall enough. And it will continue to run it over. Now, it doesn't claim to have avoidance detection that low to the ground. It does say that if it's tall enough, it'll avoid it because that LiDAR sits on top of the robot. It doesn't have anything in front that can sense something in front of it. But that LiDAR that's turning that circle on top, that's turning and detecting objects. So I imagine it's going to see this, but it's not going to detect that. Now, they don't claim it. It's only $200. You really do have to get the more expensive ones, around four or five hundred dollar ones, to where it has a camera in the front that when it sees dog poop or something low to the ground like this, that it will will avoid it. Now I do like that it kind of it knows where it's at. It knows it makes those lines in your carpet so that it's it's going back and forth and not missing a spot. I also like that when it goes around the perimeter of your house or around the room, it knows where that perimeter is, and it doesn't bounce up to your walls each time it goes back and forth. It kind of stops short because it's like, well, I was already there when I did the perimeter of the room. I like that feature. And again, here's the small, you know, it's gonna run it over, yeah. It, it doesn't claim to, to know avoidance detection like that. You do have to get a more expensive vacuum for that. But now it should see this. Well, it went right beside it. It should get it next pass. All right, here it comes. Okay, it did detect it, and it's going to go around it. That's pretty, yeah, okay, so that does work if it's tall enough. It gets, a, it gets pretty close to it. I would like for it to stay a little farther away than that. Okay, so you can pause it by hitting this button right here. I can tell it to go dock itself. I just saw it. There's one more sticker I forgot to go. And now, if I want to tell it to start again, just hit that button. It's not really loud. Okay, it avoided it again. Let's, imp let's see how it's well it's done. Let's stop it, and let's open it up in the back. Okay, it's actually done a pretty good job with dog hair. It's got some crumbs, some small stuff. This room was recently vacuumed by another vacuum, robot vacuum, the Roomba. And it's, it's doing a pretty good job. Now, it will, when it's all done, go back and the base unit will suck everything out of this chamber into a bag. Now, it even shows me the lines that it has cleaned. That's exactly where the Roomba has gone. It did show that one obstacle. It did show that. And I can control it from here. I can pause it and I can tell it to go home. Yep, stop cleaning and head to home, yes. Okay, so it's navigating itself back home. It actually does a great job navigating back home. It doesn't hit the furniture as it's going home. It's pretty neat watching it kind of turn the corners. There 
it's going to dock itself. Found the dock really easy. It kind of pulls up to it and then does a circle to make sure that's it. It's lining itself up. Now it should back itself up. Okay, so it should empty out the robot vacuum. Okay, it, it takes a while. I don't know what was happening. I lifted the lid and pushed down on the bag and then it started to suck everything out. So I don't know if I didn't have, I mean, I waited about, you know, 20 seconds or so and nothing happened. Then I lifted this up and then I pushed this down. Maybe I didn't have this down all the way. And then it, but it kicked on with the lid open, so there's no sensor on the lid. So I don't know what happened there, but let's see if it emptied everything out. Well, there's still some ground coffee in there. Got most of the hair out. Huh. Okay, so I docked it again. Let's see if it empties it out. I might have interrupted the emptying out. Well, it's not going to empty out again. I'll have to clean a whole other room, but I would have thought it would have emptied out a little bit better than that. You know, one of the selling points is is how much suction this has. It says it has 4,000 PA, but I thought it did okay. It probably does better on carpet. The coffee was a pretty tall order, but I thought it would have got pretty much most of it. Now, where Eufy Shine is their app. Their app and their map are probably some of the best in the industry. I love their map, their interface. I love everything about the app. I just wish their vacuum might have been a little bit better. But this is their $200, kind of their entry level mapping your house. It doesn't do the bumping where it's just going to bump off the room and do random cleaning. And it does have a self-emptying base. Okay, so I've got some ground coffee here on the hardwood floors or linoleum. Let's see how well it cleans. It's, I've got it cleaning this room right now. It's going around the perimeter and then it'll start cleaning this. Now I did notice when it's on that rug, it does change the suction volume. Looks like maybe it should have done a little better job than that. Okay, here it comes. Oof. Well, coffee is pretty hard to pick up, and it did scoot a bunch of it right there to the carpet. I didn't put it anywhere the carpet was, but it scooted a bunch to it. Looks like if it was a smaller mess, it might have done an okay job. So if you have a big mess, you may want to put it on two passes where it goes where it goes over it twice. I'm only doing one pass. Alright, looks like it's going over some of it again. Okay, I think it's done. So yeah, it needed two passes. It's going back to the dock. Be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with these products, I will give them away. Also, this is where I got my Simple Sip Coffee, Just a Dad Dark Roast Simple Sip Coffee. It's going to be for sale. It's a dark Brazilian roast, whole bean, K-cup, and ground. And I also started a podcast, Coffee with Dad podcast. This is where I interview uh, different people about their stories with coffee. So check that out. That's on all those platforms that you get. Apple Podcasts, Spotify. It's even on um, YouTube. I do a video version of it also on YouTube. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could, please like and hit the subscribe button. That really helps out my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.